Hello everybody. In episode 2 of today's trick tutorials, we're going to be learning the ollie. Now the ollie is your standard fingerboard trick, just like in skateboarding. It's what sets pretty much everything for sets everything up for you to learn all the, every kind of grind, every kind of flip trick. It helps you with board control to get your ollies down. It helps you with transition, believe it or not, to get your ollies down and get board control with your ollies. And ollies just help you just take that your fingerboard, your beginner fingerboarding, if you happen to be a beginner. Ollies just take your your tricks just one step further and allows you to advance just that, that much further into kick flips and heart flips and 360 kick flips and laser flips and all these other crazy flip tricks all start from the ollie, believe it or not. Now for the ollie, just like the previous um, tutorial video, if you've seen it for the front side shove it, your fingerboarding position is pretty going to be pretty standard. Front finger, can't see it because I've gripped over my bolts, but front finger is going to be on the back, back, um, back two bolts on your front truck, and your back finger is going to be right at the edge, not on the tip, depending on your preference, but right on the edge of the board, right, right on the tail, right where it needs to be. When you go, when you are setting up for your trick, you want to have your hand in that position. When you're starting with all these, it is best to give yourself more momentum to go forward and then kind of pull yourself back mid roll. So you're going forward, pull yourself back, kind of judge yourself forward like that, like this. Some people do that to start off with. They're trying to give themselves that momentum and they'll kind of like do that kind of a thing or they'll kind of wiggle around a little bit. It's a little goofy at first, but it's what helps you build the momentum to picking up your ollies and getting them in the air just like that. To get your ollies in the air like how I just did, well, not like that, like that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop the tail, again, in the same position that we had just talked about earlier, Back uh, front finger on the back two bolts of the front truck, back finger on the tail, right at the very end, not over here, not in here, so right in the center. Get yourself a nice sweet spot and work what feels comfortable for you. You're gonna snap the tail, snap it on the on whatever surface you're using, and you're gonna shoot up. When you shoot up, you're gonna rock it this way, but we don't want to rock it. So your front finger is gonna glide up from this point or wherever it is that you have your or have it set up and it's going to catch in this pocket right here it's going to go up it's going to catch right here depending on the um, the wheelbase of your board might catch sooner might catch a little later but if you're going to pop this is going to glide up you're going to catch you're going to level out depending on where you're at with your ollies and then you're going to land and roll away so you're going to roll pop, it's going to rock it up, this finger right here, it's going to level out, and then you're just going to set it down, roll away. And that's your ollie. Ollies are really great for just, again, board control, helps you to do front 180s and all kinds of other ollie variations like like alling, like pretty much getting your 180s, 180 into grinds, like a 180 nose grind or a front 180 switch nose grind, fakie flip. It all starts with the ollie, with getting your ollies, getting your rotations, getting your 180s, getting all that down, all of your your basics down will help you in the long run. I promise. If it wasn't for the basics, then we wouldn't have kick flips and we wouldn't have what we have now. So practice those ollies, get them down. Sometimes it helps to get, uh, see if I can have something on hand. Sometimes it helps to get like video game covers or to get movie covers. Like this. To start off on. Some people start off with just one. Like this. Something just to kind of all the way up on, excuse me, and then eventually you build up to two, eventually build up to three, 
whoops, and so forth. And things like that, giving yourself little obstacles to help you pick up your ollie or something that's physically in front of you to give yourself an incentive to get it up a little higher, that will help you break um, the mental battle of how trying to how, how to pick it up. And instead, maybe your ollies are a little low. Maybe they don't grip as much. Maybe they little rocket like that. You want to figure that out, figure out where your finger placements are and what it is that maybe you're doing right, doing wrong. Trial and error and you'll get it. All these are a really good trick. I hope this tutorial helped you see how good that trick can be and how well it can be useful in your arsenal of tricks. I hope this helps. I hope you're out there learning ollies and I hope that they're treating you very well. Till the next video, we'll be talking about kickflips, just the next step for the ollie. Uh, that'll be exciting. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and the next ones to come. Peace out.